and the Jalen Ramsey trade drama is officially over. Jalen Ramsey is headed to the Rams. Ramsey is going to be a Ram, and I'm going to give you a grade for this trade in just a second here. But for starters, let's just be honest here. All those shenanigans about, hey, the Jags, we might not trade him. Shad Khan, their owner, had a heart-to-heart -heart with him. It was clear after that that there was really nothing wrong with his back. The, uh, the rumors right now are that he's going to be playing Sunday for the Rams. And hey, you go out to sunny California, the palm trees, the beaches, all of a sudden that back is feeling just fine. And he's going to be back on the field for the Rams on Sunday. But the Jaguars, they did about just as good as they could possibly have done. The Rams are sending a 2020 first round pick, a 2021 first round pick, and a 2021 fourth round pick to Jacksonville in exchange for, to me, the best cornerback in football and the cornerstone of that defense. Now, remember, the Buccaneers lit up this Rams secondary for 55 points. This Rams secondary, Marcus Peters wasn't as advertised. He heads to the Ravens. And then the Rams, they place Aqib Tlaib on the injured reserve. He has hurt ribs. So they need to bolster that secondary. But now you've got the best defensive lineman in the game in Aaron Donald. And then you've got the best cornerback in the game in Jalen Ramsey. And he's only 24 years old. So I know what you're saying. Look, he's going to be a free agent. And he could walk, right? So he basically has all the leverage against the Rams in this situation because if he walks, the Rams are out two first-round picks, they're out a fourth-round pick, and they have nowhere to go. But you know the Rams are going to pay up. And if I'm Jalen Ramsey, I'm saying I don't care that Xavier and Howard on the Dolphins is making $15.1 million or that Josh Norman is making $15 million. I want to be something in the Aaron Donald Khalil Mack range, $23.5 million. And Aaron Donald, his teammate, is making over $22 million. And Jalen Ramsey, he's going to have all the leverage in the world in those negotiations. Because the bottom line is, the Rams paid more to get Jalen Ramsey than the Bears did to get Khalil Mack. And yes, I get it. It's the Raiders. Probably a bad move on their part. But now Jalen Ramsey says, hey, I don't care about getting paid as the best cornerback. I want to get paid as the best defensive player in the entire game. Show me the money. Jerry, you can do better than that, Jerry. I want you to say it with you with me, brother. Hey, I got Bob Sugar on the other line. I better hear you say it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Show you the money. Not, not show you. Show me the money. Show me the money. And something tells me that the Rams are fully invested in paying Jalen Ramsey. You don't give up that amount of draft capital if you're not going to pay the guy what he wants. And then there's the whole thing about the California state tax, 13.5%. So they're going to probably have to overpay him, subsidize that. But I think it's a great move. I still give this move an A. I love this move for the Rams because you put him with Aaron Donald, and he's a cornerstone at that position. And then you add the fact that he's going to be playing under Wade Phillips. Wade Phillips, he's an elite defensive coordinator. And if you can get Jalen Ramsey the most out of Jalen Ramsey, I don't even think we've seen his best football. If you get a motivated Jalen Ramsey, he's a guy that's an impact player. I have no issues paying him premium money. It's okay to overpay for superstars that deliver. It's when you overpay for guys that underdeliver. Guys like Kirk Cousins in that world. But hey, I think Jalen Ramsey is a great move for the Los Angeles Rams. And it shows that Sneed and McVay and Kroenke and this Rams team, they're not done yet. They saw, they saw against the 49ers, the 49ers are a real threat in that division. They know what's going on in Seattle with Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll. If they want to make another run at this division and at the Super Bowl, the time is now, and I think it was a great move. I'm giving it an A. For the Jaguars, I'll give it a D because, look, that just shows the foundation they built in Jacksonville. Players don't want to stay there. Look, Jalen Ramsey should have worked out Jacksonville. He went to Florida State. He was the hometown kid, should have been the star, should have been the leader of this organization. And then also, those two first-round picks, they're probably going to be in the 20s. And I got news for you. You're not find a player of Jalen Ramsey's caliber in the 20s. No chance at that. And just really, I think they're in no man's land as a franchise. And yes, you got Gardner Minshew. That was nice. He looks like he profiles as a starting quarterback in this league. But you signed Nick Foles as a win-now move. And then you trade away Jalen Ramsey. So, tough move 
for the Jaguars. But if you're the Rams, adds a spark to that defense. You could be a starter, 5'10", you know, five to eight elite years at the cornerback spot. But to me, their problems are on offense. They got to get this offense right. Jared Goff, his running game, Todd Gurley's injuries. It looks like that running game is non-existent. But they, with their season really on life support, as far as them being contenders, this really puts them back in it in the NFC West and as a Super Bowl contender in the NFC.